Now, like I said before, you're going to be putting a lot of artwork on your pages. So I would definitely recommend utilizing the organizational skills of the layers panel. But you're also going to need to organize where things go on your page. And that comes down to the issue of guides. So here in InDesign, I'll go to File and Open. I'll come down to my Chapter 2 Concepts. Folder 3 is Page Guides. And I've already set up a file right here. Here's my front cover. Here's my two inside edges. And there's the back cover. But it looks like a blank document. So keep in mind, I'm in preview mode. Okay, I can hit the letter W. And there were guides on these pages. Okay, I like a thicker border here for the front cover. I don't want a thicker border for the inside. I want to put a little more information on these pages. Okay, so that comes down to my pages panel. And you'll notice if I click on page one, it will only affect page one. Okay, so let's put it right here so I can see the lower half of page one and the upper half of these two pages. So if I wanted to change the margins, I click once on a page, go to Layout, Margins. I'll keep the preview on. And when all of these are linked together, notice they're all the same size. So if I just change one margin by hitting the down arrow, all my margins will change. Click OK. So now I've got more space to work less space on these but that's not what i was trying to do i wanted less space on all of those i want to change all the margins okay when you physically select a sheet of paper a page you're only going to be affecting that page so right above all of these pages is something called master pages Okay, if I double click right here, click, click, and then I shift click, that is like selecting both of these sheets of paper. Okay, whatever I do on these sheets of paper will affect all of these sheets of paper. Okay, we're going to go into master pages uh, a little more in depth in a minute, but notice how it says A master. Notice how every page says A, A, A. And a if I wanted to change my entire document I go to my master page whatever I do on these two will affect all of these so I'm gonna click and shift click then go to layout margins and columns and I'll hit the down arrow so let's go with a quarter of an inch 0.25 right there okay double click page one Let's see what that is. Let's go to page two. Well, well, darn it. I thought I did the master pages, but notice page one didn't change because that's because I physically changed it before. It did it for these two. It did it for these, but darn it. Now this one's out of whack. So here's what's great about master pages. This is a right side page. Notice there's nothing on the left. I change that margin to a quarter of an inch. I'm going to click and drop it on there. And look at that. Instantly changes as well. Now everything is set. Okay, beautiful. I love that. It's done. I could click here and shift click and then change my margins by hand as well. Layout margins and columns start hitting the up arrow notice how all my pages have now changed again so there's multiple ways to affect a document obviously if i want to do one page at a time i click one page if i want to do all of them i could click and shift click or double click and click and change them on master pages okay the main idea here is Things are very flexible. You have a lot of creative possibilities here in InDesign. I'm going to go over more page guides and master pages in a minute, but that's just a really quick introduction 
to page guides and margins here in InDesign.